Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Brennan Poole's Toxic Waste Sour Candy Promo Diecast from 2023. So always take a look at the box. As you see, we have a beautiful promo box right here. We get these so rarely anymore that I love when I see them because this is fantastic. You got the yellow checkerboard in the back. You got the Toxic Waste like slime on the top. Big Brennan Poole's name. Big ol' render the car. You got the Toxic Waste guy with a picture of the candy. Fantastic. This just looks, this is a beautiful box. JD Motorsports, NASCAR 75th Anniversary, Toxic Waste, Hazardously Sour Candy. Down the side, you have Brennan Poole, got the same render of the car, Toxic Waste, Hazardously Sour Candy again. Standard finish. Made a total of 506 of these things. Standard finish, got Toxic Waste, JD Motorsports, number six. Got the same stuff on the back of the box. Register your car at Lionel Garage. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. See, the whole bottom is also in that yellow checkered pattern. Here is the car itself. Brennan raced this at the Indianapolis road course last season. So this does have some of the uh, details from road courses, like it has the windshield wiper and it has the uh, right side fuel port and all that. This was a car made for the Daily Downforce website. That's where the promo came from. Though eventually uh, Circle B Diecast did get a hold of some and they started selling some too. I don't know if the uh, Daily Downforce has had too many of them or what, but just a really cool promo. I said, I always love promo diecast, especially when it's something like this. Like, it's always good to get small team promos and especially like, you know, Toxic Waste Candy is around enough. Like, you can find them in stores right now, probably wherever you are in the country. So, it's a recognizable brand. They're still in NASCAR this year. They sponsored uh, one of the Alpha Prime drivers. This year, to, I believe it was the Chicago Street Course. I don't think they're making that, I guess. But maybe the, maybe there'll be another promo. I don't know. This seems like the kind of company that would actually want a promo on top of just being the whole daily downforce thing that, you know, the reason this car got made is because you can you could put your name on it. Cargo Neum. <laughs> That's funny. Let me know if anyone who's watching this video is actually on this car. Oregon diecast. But like I said, this is one of those ones you, you could have bought, you know, I forget exactly how much it was. You could spend some money, you could get your name on the car, you could get the promo diecast, all that good stuff. That's definitely cool. Anyways, let's do a quick 360 of the car. This car just looks fantastic in person. That bright, like, lime green toxic waste color mixed with a bright neon yellow with the, you know, kind of caution stripe look around the bottom. Fantastic. I was super happy when this car got a promo because I've been wanting one of these toxic waste cars to get produced. On the hood, you have the toxic waste guy holding a checkered flag with toxic waste Hattersley Tower candy. That was a tongue twister. Like I said before, you do have the uh, windshield wiper with the yellow and the black top. Pool's name on the windshield banner. Got Chevrolet Camaro number six and JD Motorsports. Down the side, you have Toxic Waste, Hazardously Sour Candy. Got MMAC Door Systems. Got a bunch of little logos down here. Cannon Air Filters, STF Auctions. Not sure what some of these logos are. I think last time I reviewed a JD Motorsports car, they actually came into my channel and uh, told me what some of the logos are. Mechanics Wears, KSDT. Rearman Power Equipment. Got Big JT's Barbecue. <laughs> That's a fun sponsor. On the B post, you have Purple Power, SEM, Alka, Flex Seal. You see the Flex Seal, they still do sponsor these JD Motorsports cars. Even though they're not really the primary anymore, they've been on the B post for a long time. Well, the cup, the sponsor, who knows, because the, the whole team is kind of going under, but got to something auto auctions. <laughs> Got another one of the toxic waste barrels right there. Has your typical contingencies and such up front. Brennan Poole's name on the name rail with his logo right there. On the back, you have Chevrolet Camaro, number six, toxicwastecandy.com. Like I said before, you have all the names of the people who paid to be on this car. Mr. Toxie Head. <laughs> I like when they just let people put whatever they want. More than just like, you have to put your first name and last name. Cyber Fox. Happy birthday. <laughs> Pock Power Pincer. <laughs> At least some interesting names. Anyways, on the roof you have Can You Handle the Sour? Got Poole's name on the name rail again. 
Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. See, so you just got a Chevy bow under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously, no deck lid or roof flaps on these cars. And there's the inner side of the car if you want to see that. Does have the nice bright yellow rims too. That really, you know, puts everything together on this car. Like I said, you can find the uh, toxic waste candies at uh, stores. I found this at uh, Five Below. If you don't have those, it's like a, it's a dollar store, but it's five dollars a below instead of just a dollar. I don't know, but find barrels. I've seen the uh, candy bars at Walmart and everything else. Said they're definitely a recognizable brand in the sport, so it was definitely really cool to get a promo like this. That was a funny tweet. It was a. Uh, I forget who tweeted it, but somebody at Daytona was like, it was, I think it was Ryan Ellis stepping out of the porta potty in his toxic waste fire suit. And it was like, talk about toxic waste. It's just like, I don't even think he was running the toxic waste car that weekend. So I don't know why he had that fire suit on, but so just a fun car. I love promo diecast. As I've said many times before, they're just, they're fun. They're unique. They stand out in a collection. Like this car is definitely eye catching in any display, any collection. So JD Motorsports is kind of going under right now. They first, you know, got everyone against them after they uh, they posted one of those like Hawk Tua memes, or like the 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 PR guy, whoever like runs their the social media manager, posted one for I think it was New Hampshire, and then he was immediately fired afterwards, and that caused a whole kerfuffle. And then like a couple weeks later, they were like just closed their doors altogether, which is weird because there's actually another JD Motorsports promo that was supposed to happen this year. It popped out of Lionel Garage. It, was, it looked like an out-of-the-groove Halloween paint scheme that I assume was running, like, probably for Martinsville in the fall. But now that the team went under, is that still happening? Is somebody else going to use the number in the paint scheme? Is that team going to just... Are they just going to pop back in? Because I've some people have said that the team's not completely dead, like they're going to come back at some point this year. So I don't know, but... We might have a never was promo diecast in existence, so we'll have to just wait and see on that one. I think even Circle B diecast on the quarter panel of that Halloween car. So that's how the diecast got made. That does suck if it doesn't happen, because that was probably like, you know, all these promo diecasts before the, you know, they came out months later. Maybe he was probably Eric Eastab this year was like, oh, I'm gonna get my car made nice and early. I'll have it ready for the race, where you can people just buy it like right during the race weekend, and then now who knows if it'll even happen. Anyways, this is a brand new release. You can get it right now. Because then you either have to go to the Daily Downforce website or Circle B Diecast. This car, I don't think it's going to disappear immediately. But this is one of those cars, like any promo, that like once they're gone, they're generally gone. Like if you're one of those, like, oh, there's plenty of them out around. I'll wait. And then like a year from now, if they're gone, you're not going to find it anywhere except like on eBay for like $200. Because that's just how promos usually go. So be wary of that. Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. So go check that if you want anything. By the entry all there is to say, this has been a review of Brennan Poole's Toxic Waste Sour Candy Promo Diecast from 2023. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.